Beautiful. Big deep breath. Stay right where you are. Your job is to rest and recompose and do not let anything take away from your ability to hammer those arms past your butt. Ready, set, go. That's your 30. Go, go, go. All right, the very first exercise of oh, the physio evolutions. We've already done our running warm up. We've already done our mobility. So the very first exercise, we've got good old fashioned cross jacks, cross jacks. We're gonna go ahead and crisscross applesauce those hands over your head, no crossing of the feet. In particular, one of the adjustments we wanna make is staying low and level as if it's a warm up for your ankles for change of direction. So the athletes are instructed not to elevate. They're instructed to stay in a low level athletic position, 30 reps. Now, when they're done with that, shake it out. According to your conditioning level, you're instructed to re-rinse. And second half is the hands do not cross and then we start moving those feet. So now we start crossing those feet, alternating that. 15 on each, again, still 30 foot contacts, 30 foot contacts. Now, make sure we're pulling, guys, pull, pull, pull. The athlete is instructed to make sure that that glass water bouncing on the top of the head does not spill, and that we get that ponytail to stop dancing all over the place. Clip. The second exercise, we've got a little bit of ankle external rotation. One of the things that we want to do to set this up is take all of the stressors off of the hips, off of the knees, and load the ankles. And we accomplish that by making sure that both of those angles are at least 90 degrees, if not greater. Now we just kind of anchor that standard lateral band right around that vertical column, and the athlete is instructed to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze those knees right into that bench so that we have a counter torquing motion of the knees adducting and internally rotating while the ankles are driving out, out, out. Today we're concentrating on Dorsiflexion, make sure that those ankles are dorsiflex pulled way up as high as you possibly can. 30 reps. Our third exercise, we still are gonna continue emphasizing ankle rotation. The only difference is we've got them anchored outside, so we're gonna work on internal rotation strength of those ankles. Still concentrating on dorsiflexion, same exact principle, we want to counter torque so the athlete is holding, Meredith is holding her hands together, she's got that kung fu grip locked in, the knee should be driving out continuously into the crook of the elbow. Same principle, we want to make sure we get a lot of hip flexion, a lot of knee flexion so that we put all the stress right there on the ankles. So counter torque, driving the knees out while we gently drive those suckers in. 30 reps. But a high low overhead squats. We're going to kind of continue this. We're going to introduce this format and really think about being really, really strong in this asymmetrical rhythm. We've got a single weight way up over your head. We introduce this by using our grand imagination and we are waiters or waitresses. And we've got a platter of drinks way up over top. We want to commit that elbow to staying locked in an overhead squat position. Now from there, we want to go ahead and go down squat down into that perfect, perfect notch and force ourselves into what a perfect x-axis rotation of the pelvic girdle should feel like. Really concentrate on your same standard cues of driving your hips back. Really trying to think about staying connected to the floor. The more you push those hips back, the less those knees rotate and that's the goal of this is to make sure that we've got good transfer of force as well as get really, really strong asymmetrically. So from there, extended elbow locked. Now those of you guys that are going body weight, do like Scott's doing, extend those fingers for me, Dan. Extend those fingers and reach up to the sky. Very good. And from that position, locked elbow, and really think about staying in a perfect notch of not pitching your hips excessively opposite of the dumbbell. That's the common tendency. So when that dumbbell is off to the left, you're gonna wanna rotate those hips to the right you want to kind of work against that, especially on the down range. Slow, slow, push your butt straight back, straight back, straight back. Alternating five on each. All right, number two and four. We're going to go from a horizontal position. So good old fashioned horizontal height. Same emphasis. Really think about drawing those shoulder blades back violently so we have a broken rhythm. And we want to stay super, super low. So a low level athletic base. Really think about challenging those ankles. Now it's not that big of a deal on this one where we're clapping the hands together. 
or crossing the arms in front, but when we move to the clapping the hands together and the feet are crossing, then it becomes a very, very violent, very, very fast action at the ankles. So 30 reps. And now we're gonna move into your go up. Super fast, super fast. Really concentrate on what the ankles are doing. We're low and level. We've got them locked and loaded in a dorsiflex flex position. Really think about emphasizing what's gonna happen later when we start doing a lot of dramatic change of direction. So concentrate on retracting those shoulder blades. Pull those spine. There you go. Pull that spine into a stable position by retracting your shoulder blades. And make sure that we get good foot contact. Awesome, awesome job. Now you guys get that frontal view, so in particular, we really want to try to avoid those hips moving. Cattywampus, I have no idea how to spell that, but it is a word. Make sure that your hips are driving straight back. The moment that you go down, you're going to feel your hips want to push in the opposite direction of that dumbbell. So really think about staying and forcing yourself into that perfect, perfect notch. A comprehensive program should reveal any discrepancies, any type of biomechanical habits that won't allow you to perform well or that will set you up for some sort of injury down the line. We really want to focus in on trying to stay in that perfect, perfect notch. Very good, Sarah. Atta girl. Don't move your knees because your knees should be driving into the bench. Same thing with Steph. We're going to drive the knees out into the crooks of the elbow so that we get a good spinning of that shin bone and you'll see just a little bit of tibial torsion so progressively what we want to do is just strengthen up the mechanisms that will allow you to decelerate an excessive amount of tibial torsion thus protecting your ACLs now remember we're going to still integrate this into our ground very good we're going to integrate this into our closed chain ground base exercise which ends up being an overhead squat now from here, the same musculature that you just worked on the bench as well as on the floor should prevent an excessive amount of rotation of the knees. So really think about pushing your butt back in conjunction with the musculature that you just developed on the floor and on the bench to keep those knees tracking perfectly, thus giving yourself a significant advantage in terms of praxis and your ability to address problems. Very good. Force yourself into this perfect model, perfect mold of what a squat should feel like. Get on top of the ball right there. Your shoulders should be on top of the ball, not your head. So lay back a little bit, walk your feet back a little bit, right about yay. Now, with the shoulders at the apex of the ball, go get them, start facing me, and show me five switches. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, hold, pause. Now, five going the other way. Go. One, two, three, four. Hold. And then recompose and do it again. We're going three rounds, five changes of direction. On this prone position on our crossovers, what we're working on now, the hands are glued to the floor, and we're going to try to swivel the hips. So obviously there's a great amount of stabilization stressor that's going on through that upper body torso and now we're looking for mobility out of the lower body. Very good. Here we go. So remember, you're just replacing tension from one side to the other, Scott. So as you shoot that leg over, you're counterbalancing with the scorpion kick leg. So that scorpion leg comes over top and it counterbalances. Let's go, there's another round, what are you doing? Let's go. Very good, nice job. Bottom guys, tilt your chin down so that you move away from that anatomical neutral spine. So at the bottom, we're looking for you to tilt your chin in. So you tip on that axis bone. Once you get to that vertical spinal position, tall pretty posture, I want you to tilt your head back. And then if you want to put your creative flair by punching the ground with your dumbbell, go ahead and add that. But make sure that the first two criteria are accomplished first. Way up high, there's a good straight stable spine. As he goes vertical, very good. Zombie Hunter will tip his chin back. Nice job. We're gonna go off of your right leg, five on the right hand, five on the left hand, and then we're gonna go ahead and switch feet. Five on the right hand, five on the left hand from your left foot. Very good. But, very important coaching cue, and you'll notice what Craig is doing. He's fighting to stay on one single leg, and that's your goal. Work on the precision of 
creating a more efficient vestibular arc awareness, a better equilibrium system that allows you to really call upon that. If you move so fast or you don't allow that to develop, the only other options are to stick in the ground and fall or to have to do an extra catch step. So work on splaying your foot, staying connected to the floor, and then smoothly and slowly and very, very progressively, gradually, work on your ability to keep that foot splayed, find that tension traveling back up through your spine, work on that ni nice natural responsiveness of that proprioceptive system to allow you to stay on that single leg. Now keep it there and roll from there, beautiful. That's it, very good. External rotation, external rotation only. Really trying to concentrate on protecting that retracted shoulder girdle and just externally rotating that humerus. Penny, your job is not to let them catch you. Got it the same distance. Everybody's going at the one big happy family. Go! Go, 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 go. Now plant, dive and drive. Go, 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 go. Very good. Set, go! Push, push, push. Now swing your arms. Oh, Penny, you gotta go. You're failing miserably as a rabbit. Now aggressively get out. You gotta help them get better, Penny. Ready, set, go! Number three or four, attack! Go get it! Go get it! Matt, use those long legs of yours. Gobble up some real estate. Swing those arms. Punch and hammer. Very good. Nice job, Eddie. Go! Go, 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 go. Attack it. Attack it. Gobble up real estate. Go, Maddie. Go, Maddie. Go, Jason. Catch him. Don't let him catch you. Go, Steph. Go, Penny. Long driving stride. Long driving stride. Long driving stride. 